Uh, but in terms of emails, you've got to, they're like two processes I've got, right? I've got the four eyes, right? When I say the four eyes, I mean like I stands for introduction. The second I stands for insight. The third I stands for inspire. And the fourth I stands for invest. So that's sort of like a nice clean process in terms of when you're thinking about your email, when you before you click send, has your email covered those four points? Have you introduced yourself? Have you provided some level of insight that shows you've done some research around that customer? Inspire is kind of like how your solution or software solves that problem and invest is where you ask a call to action. Uh, one of the mistakes I think I see a lot of salespeople make is they believe that the invest, the call to action should always be asking for time. And if sales were that easy, we wouldn't need salespeople, right? It's not that easy. The call to action in most cases, especially initially when you're just reaching out to a customer, is should be something like read this. Mm. You know, it should be watch this video. It shouldn't be asking for time because you should have demonstrated what you know about the customer earlier on in the email. Explain to them what you did because of what you know. So when I say no, right, I'm talking about here's what I know about you, Mr. Customer. That could be persona based or it could be personal. When I say personal, I mean, uh, I read your blog post, right? And if it's persona based, I'm talking about, you know, uh, articulate a problem that digital marketers in that sector face, you know, day to day. So that's like your no, right? I know that about you, Mr. Customer. And then what did you do as a result? You know, I either went on your website as a result and researched this, or I found this article, which is useful for you, that sort of thing. And here's the impact of that. Uh, and then on the back of that, you then have your a, a little bit of a brief in terms of what you do as a business and then kind of like your call to action at the end of it. So, and, and also in terms of emails as well, you want to make them visually appealing and easy to read. So when someone receives an email from you, you don't want long paragraphs, no. right? It should just be, they should just see that email and it should be easy to read. So highlight uh, certain sentences. So start off with like say 500 characters or less right? So that I can fit onto a phone screen. Most people are reading the email on their phones now, right? So 500 characters or less so that it fits onto a phone screen. Uh, Bite-sized chunks rather than a feast, yeah? So again, not long emails. And then as I was saying, visually appealing. So highlighting key sentences or important words uh, and then using bullet points as well to space out your messaging. So if you want to say your your product provides three bits of values to this customer, list them out in bullet points and highlight certain key key points there. So again, just as soon as you read the email, you want it to be visually appealing so that someone actually wants to read it. 